later here tonight and the fighter that everyone is expecting to go through to the K1 uh, finals and uh, make a big impression on. Tell us a little bit about your preparation and what we're expecting to see here tonight. Uh, I've tried, trained the hardest I've ever trained for the last eight, eight weeks. Um, uh, I'm ready to kick some butt. And from the Valhalla gym of Jimmy Cass, the unknown quantity, it's time to go to the doghouse. It's time for the mad dog, Aaron Malt. Mark the Hammer, a big assignment here for this young man, Aaron Malt, up against the nasty boy, Nathan Briggs, who is the hot favourite to win tonight's K1 Queensland. Well, what a big uh, ask for Malt. He's come in against Briggs. He's a last-minute replacement, Aaron Malt. And I can tell you what, he's got a big job ahead of him, even, even to the point uh, that Briggs is going to have a, a sizable height and reach advantage over him. And uh, he's going to really have to go to work, Malt, if he's going to have, uh, have making any sort of an impression here. Coming your way right around Australia on Fox Sports. We are scheduled for three three-minute rounds under K1 rules. Introducing first tonight, he fights out of the blue corner and weighed in at an even 98 kilos from the Boonchu Gym with former world champion brother Paul and his side. Ladies and gentlemen, the nasty boy, Nathan Briggs. Across the wind, conceding five kilos after weighing in at an even 93. Under Jimmy Cass from the Valhalla Gym in Brisbane, it is the Mad Dog, Aaron Moles. K1 rules, round one, K1 elimination, of three by three minute round. Well, all is in readiness for the first semi-final of the K1 Queensland, the four-way threat. It will be the nasty boy, Nathan Briggs, out of the blue corner against Aaron the Mad Dog Malt out of the red corner. It's Boon Chu Jim versus the Valhalla. Look at the stare down from Nathan Briggs, folks. He has come here for business tonight. He is the hot favourite. And Hammer, I have to say, quite frankly, I've never seen Nathan Briggs in such good shape as I see him tonight. Well, he's certainly looking the goods, uh, Nathan Briggs. Focused and fit. He wants to... Uh duplicate the success his brother is having in the boxing ring obviously well wow. and he wants to do it in the k1 arena twin brother paul briggs recently knocking out former kickboxing world champion tosca petridis in conventional boxing can nathan briggs now carry the mantle of the briggs name here in kickboxing in the k1 and make his mark on the k1 oceania this fight as with all of our fights tonight folks brought to you by crazy john's discount mobile phones Well, Briggs straight up, second punch of the night, put Malt down, Malt wants to hold his hands a little bit higher. It's a standing count from the centre referee, Nathan Briggs, you're going to find out folks why they call him the nasty boy. I tell you what, Malt just went right down there. That, that second punch of the fight just caught him. He's in a lot of trouble. And uh, Briggs didn't even use one kick, Michael. It was purely oh hands. My, that is nasty hammer. Aaron Malt in the hands of Dr. Peter Lewis, Dr. Michael Blondo, and his trainer, Jimmy Cass. Nathan Briggs exits the ring. Here's the first fighter through to tonight's final on the K1. I tell you what, that's got to make him the favourite. Here we see Briggs just shaping up. Bang! And he just caught him with that uh, left hook. Actually, that was the first punch of the fight. My mistake. Oh, look at this. That hurts, Hammer. Aaron Malt still down Malt just come back. Two. A succession of punches. Two hooks, three hooks. A right hand. Finished it up for Malt. And it was all over. Oh, that's nasty. Once again, we see uh, Briggs just bouncing around Malt in a, in a bit of bother after getting caught with that first hook. He's coming with a big leg kick. Right hand, left hook, right hand, left hook, right hand. And there down went Malt. He just got it caught with a succession of punches, four or five punches, unanswered. And uh, oh, he's back Briggs, to his feet. Briggs exits the ring fresh as a daisy for, oh, uh, for, uh, for the final. Ice, ice water. 
Aaron Malt still in the hands of his trainer, Jimmy Cass, Dr. Peter Lewis there on screen. Aaron Malt, good to see him that he returned to his feet. Hammer just taking a seat there in the corner, taking a breath, and I guess it's all going to sink in pretty soon. But Nathan Briggs, folks, is the first man through to the final of the K1 Queensland, the final of the four-way threat. Once again, we see Briggs, after he caught Malt with that first hook, he's going to come in. There you see the right hand. Boom, just missing. There oh. goes the right hand to the jaw, left hook, same side, right cross once again, and left hook, all duplicated right on that same spot. Hammer, he was out on his feet after that, that second right hand. Well, it was like four unanswered, four or five unanswered punches, and they all hit the same side of the head of Malt, and uh, Briggs just zeroed in with his uh, very, very accurate hands, and I can tell you what, that's got to show the, uh, the work he's been putting in with uh, his brother Paul, obviously, but his hands are uh, sharpened right up. And I can tell you what, it's going to be a, a very, a very uh, tough opponent that is going to bother uh, Briggs in the, uh, in the 